for us. Thank you. Paul Walker's daughter has filed a wrongful death suit against Porsche. The 16-year-old is blaming design flaws for the death of the Fast and Furious star two years ago. Walker was a passenger in a Porsche Carrera GT at a charity event when the driver lost control and hit a power pole and a tree. The car then burst into flames. Calvin Kim with Porsche Cars North America said the automaker has not seen the lawsuit, but that, quote, as we have said before, we are saddened whenever anyone is hurt in a Porsche vehicle, but we believe the authorities' reports in this case clearly establish that this tragic crash resulted from reckless driving and excessive speed. Automotive expert Lauren Fix joins me now to talk about this. Good morning. Good morning. Um, the car was going about between 80 and 93 miles per hour when the driver lost control. Isn't that, isn't it clear from that 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 speed was to blame for this accident? Well, you would, you would think it is, and, and knowing Roger, he was a professional race car driver in the Pirelli World Challenge Series, so he knew what he was doing, and he and Paul and that, had that was the man driving the car, right? Together. I just want to make it clear, he was driving right, Roger the car. Right, Roger Rodas okay. the driver. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So and, he knew what uh, he was doing. Roger wrote us, he knew what he was doing, but mechanical things happen. I race cars uh, on an amateur level, and I've had broken parts, too, and car parts break on the street all the time. However, this car was modified, and Porsche is claiming from Roger Rodas's wife, who has had four claims now against Porsche, of which all have been dismissed by the courts, which is going to set a precedent and make it very difficult for Meadow to be able to settle. Now, I understand that she's upset with her father's death, and I definitely, you know, feel for her and her family, but going after Porsche, I don't believe she's going to have a strong enough case, although the attorneys are always there with their handout, and they really love these cases. Well, it was such a horrific death, though, because apparently Paul Walker survived the impact of the crash, and then the car caught on fire, and he died as a result Correct. of the fire. Very sad. Mm -hmm. so, uh, but, uh, but looking at it, Porsche is saying that the car was improperly maintained. It had aftermarket components on it, and the fuel line breaking was due to the impact that had nothing to do with the failure of the fuel line. And there's been quite a few investigators checking this out, and what they're saying is that it could have been driver error could have been something wrong with the pavement at some point when attorneys get involved it no longer becomes a personal sad situation it becomes who can we sue is it the car manufacturer whoever owned the industrial park whoever paved the road who planted that tree there and, and it gets to be too far from the actual problem there are 17 cars that are mutually owned between paul walker and roger rodas's estates and they're still feuding amongst themselves over that. Some of those cars have been sold, some of those cars are owned, so they're still feuding over that. And he had a $25 million estate, and they're looking to build on that. And honestly, at some point, she's going to have to find out a way to conclude that in her mind, because typically when you go after car manufacturers in these type of situations where speed is involved, usually there's not a win in your favor. It has happened in a very rare situation, but typically there are multiple people involved in that lawsuit and multiple people pay out. Lauren Fix, thanks for your insight. I appreciate it. Still to come in the newsroom.